Here I'm going to show you how to make a formula that will automatically increment after so many rows. So here we have one that increments every five rows by one and every five rows by two. And you can copy the formula down as far as you want and every five rows it's going to increment. I'm going to show you how to change the increment and the interval. So make it increment every 20 rows, every 100 rows, whatever you need. And this is an amazing feature to use in more powerful formulas, especially if you combine it with the indirect function. But it's also very helpful for simple things like making lists. Now let me show you how to make it because it is a rather simple formula, but I want to break out the concept first. And here you can see the three things that we're going to be talking about separately, row, division, and round. All right, so let's talk about the row function. I mentioned it previously before. It is really quite helpful, a lot more helpful than you think. If you set row equal to itself with no argument in it, it's going to return the current row that it is in. If you set it equal to a1, it's going to return the row for a1, which is 1. And then we can copy it down as much as we want. And it will always increment by 1, because the rows increment by 1. Now, how do we get this to tell us an interval? Well, we divide it. We go, hey, you there? I'm going to divide you by 5. OK. And just copy this down. Now tell me, do you see a pattern that will help us increment anything? Well, every 5, we have a whole number. And so we can see that 2 is 1 higher than 1. But we still can't use this in a formula because we're going to be adding decimals. So we need to get all of the decimals equal to 0 and just keep these guys here. And how do we do that? Well, we use round. But here we're going to use round down. It's going to make our life very easy. Select the number to round down. And how many digits? We don't want any decimals, so 0. Close it up. Hit Enter. And there we go. Now, there are other ways to get rid of decimals. But you may now notice, even though it looks like we're there, there's a little bit of an issue. We have four zeros here, but five ones. How do we get five zeros? Well, we need to offset the row by one. So we need to go over here and just subtract it by one so that the count will now, instead of starting at one, it'll start at zero. And copy this down. There we go five zeros, five ones. And now we combine it into the final formula, round down. Let's just take it right here, paste it in. Then we grab B2 and paste it in. This is a relatively small formula, so you don't have to build it this way, but this is a great way to build much, much larger formulas. And let's add a parentheses. Hit enter, and we now have our final formula, which should be the same as this one. And now let's go with adding a step value. So if you want to add a step value, all you have to do is a little bit of math. How do you get 1 to be 2? And then down here, 2 to be 4? Well, we multiply it by 2. So we take the same formula that we just had right there, and at the very end, we multiply it by 2. So you multiply it by whatever step value you want, 3, 4, 5, 10, 100, 1,000, whatever you want right here. Now, what if you don't want this to start at 0, but you want it to start at 1? Well, all you have to do there is to add 1, and then copy the formula down. And there you go, 1, 2, 3, and so on. And that's all there is to it a really helpful little formula to increment a value every so many rows. And this is a little trick you're going to want to save because you're going to need it when you least expect it. It is very helpful.